The year is now 2024. But before 2023 concluded, we still had a presidential candidate out here capping, lying about what the true cause of the Civil War was. In the year 2023. And that argument ain't going nowhere in 2024 because these motherfuckers don't want to admit the truth. That the people that they revere from the past, the patriots of the past, were fucking evil. And they rather secede from the Union and face the possibility of war than to give up the peculiar institution of slavery. I'm talking about presidential candidate Nikki Haley. That's what I'm talking about. Former governor of South Carolina. Former member of Donald John Trump's cabinet. That's what I'm talking about. So let's get into this. We're going to do some truth telling real quick. I don't spend too much time on this. It's New Year's Day. I got shit to do. Got to take my mama and my babies. to Go see some lights before they take them down in my little hometown. My mama's had COVID. Okay, y'all pray for my mama. 2023 was hell for my mama. She went through a lot. Broke her foot, diagnosed with cancer, had two surgeries. They ended it with COVID. So I'm going to go tend to that. Okay, she's feeling a little better. I'm going to take her to see the lights before they uh, take them down. But I'm going to tend to this first. You understand? But before I do, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I am your homeboy first, and this is... The realest, most entertaining show in the game. Put it on some. This is the only show that you can hear motherfuckers talk about what's going on uh, in swag football, swag basketball. I can talk about what's going on in the NFL, NBA. I can talk about what's going on in the music industry, but I can also read these motherfuckers for their bullshit and politics. Yes, this is the only place that you can come to when you can get all that from one person. And that's part of the reason why I am the realest in the game. And I thank God for all of you who are supporting. Again, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and put all of your people on it, okay? Yes, presidential candidate Nikki Haley was asked what she considers, I guess, a gotcha question about what caused the Civil War. And long story short, she gave a bullshit answer about it, it was about freedom and 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 basically acting like it was a government issue and what what uh, the citizens should be able to do versus what the government should be able to do and and individual freedoms and all that kind of shit y'all can go look it up the clip is out there it's bullshit 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 it's akin to this bullshit argument that these motherfuckers always bring up about states rights but they never want to add the state's right to do what what was the right that the state wanted to have the states wanted the right to keep human beings in bondage and use them as basically cattle to do their work. That's what the states wanted. That's what they wanted. And the state that she was formerly the governor of, South Carolina, was the first one to secede from the union. Because they were trying to protect that shit. First one. Mississippi was the second. Okay? Mississippi was the second. I mentioned that because you see the words right there. Mississippi made it plain and clear. See, that's part of the reason why Mississippi has such a negative um, reputation within our country while some other states get to skate by like they're not racist. Because Mississippi didn't put it plainly out there. You ain't had to read too far in the Mississippi secession uh, uh, declaration. But they, but they asked to go ahead and tell you. It's basically what, in, 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 the, in the second sentence of this bitch, where they say, our position is thoroughly identified with the institution of slavery, which these bastards call the greatest material interest of the world. 
It goes on to say, its labor supplies the product which constitutes by far the largest and most important portions of commerce of the earth. These products are peculiar to the climate verging of, on the tropical regions, and by an imperious law of nature, none but the black race can bear exposure to the tropical sun. These products have become necessities of the world, and a blow at slavery is a blow at commerce and civilization. That blow has been long aimed at the institution and was at the point of reaching its consummation. There was no choice left us but submission to the mandates of abolition or dissolution of the union whose principles had been subverted to work out our ruin. God damn it. When you read that shit, that's more reason why we need reparations around this bitch. These motherfuckers said that them keeping my ancestors, your ancestors, if you're a black person, and bondage was the greatest material interest of the world, that that evil uh oh -uh, constitutes by far the largest and most important portions of commerce of the earth and these motherfuckers want to tell you that you that our ancestors ain't contributed shit to america bullshit and folks want to assume that america would be as great as it is without slavery bullshit Listen to the folks who depended on it. Mississippi spelled it out for your ass. Now, don't get it twisted, okay? The state that she was formerly the governor of South Carolina, they basically make it uh, uh, clear in their uh, secession declaration as well. Not as clear as Mississippi, but, but look at the first sentence. It said, the people of the state of South Carolina in convention assembled on the 26th day of April A.D. 1852, okay, 1852, declared that the frequent violations of the Constitution of the United States by the federal government and its encroachments upon the reserved rights of the states fully justified this state in, the, in then withdrawing from the federal union. But in deference to the opinions and wishes of the other slaveholding states, she forbore at that time to exercise its right. Since that time, these encroachments have continued to increase and, and further forbearance ceases to be a virtue. Let me uh, explain to y'all what that word salad means, okay? That shit means that we started to leave your motherfucking ass back in 1852 for fucking with slavery, okay? But we didn't because the rest of our homies told us not to. That's what that word salad means. So they were letting you know that shit even before Abraham Lincoln was elected before that shit came to us. We already wanted to leave you motherfuckers for threatening slavery. Okay? And then they go on a bunch of shit about the uh, uh, the Revolutionary War and 1776 and the Declaration of Independence and all this kind of stuff, okay? But long story short, in here they let it be known. Y'all motherfuckers are fucking with slavery and, and we don't like it. They didn't like the fact that some of those no northern states weren't following the fugitive slave law, okay, which if, if one of our ancestors got away, they wanted these motherfuckers to send their ass back to slavery and some folks weren't uh, uh, abiding by that. And so they were pissed off. They were pissed off. So uh, 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 Abraham Lincoln being elected with just goddamn the uh, uh, cherry on top. These boys wanted to do what they had to do to protect slavery. That's what they wanted to do. All you gotta do is go read the damn documents. So Nikki Haley and any other person in America who wants to be on this lost cause bullshit like these folks down here in the Confederacy was just standing up for their uh, way of life. What was their way of life? Enslaving humans. What They were just standing up for states' rights. What, were, what right did they want? They wanted to enslave humans. Come on, man. They were standing up for tradition. What had they been doing traditionally since 1619? Enslaving humans. Don't buy into this bullshit. But they are selling this bullshit around this country. This is a presidential candidate. This is supposed to be the moderate Republican. And then some of these motherfuckers out here want to tell us this is who the black man and woman should be voting for. Get the fuck out of here. Don't give me no goddamn Malcolm X quote about it. 
with him going at the Democrats. M Malcolm X was like, fuck both of them. Okay? If you finna tell me fuck both of them and we finna try to do something for self, okay, we can have that discussion. But you ain't finna be fucking telling me Fuck the Democrats. I'm voting for the GOP. When the GOP up here are uh, uh, basically whitewashing slavery. Bullshit. Bullshit. So I need y'all OGs out there. All y'all parents out there. You need to be careful. You need to be educating your goddamn children, okay? You cannot be trusting these governments. And if your kid goes to school, particularly a public school, okay, the public school is run by the government, okay? So that's the government. You can't be trusting the government to educate your children on matters such as this. You got to watch this shit. You got to watch this shit. You got to watch this shit, man. And make sure you're, re make sure you're educated first. Okay, not just some YouTube video. Okay, you're watching this on YouTube, but you can go read. I'm telling you, go read the documents that I've read. Just Google South Carolina Secession Declaration, Google Mississippi Secession Declaration. You can read the documents. If you if, if, if there's a word you don't understand, Google that motherfucker. If it's a, it's a, a concept you don't understand, DM me, I'll explain it to you, goddammit. But you got to educate yourself first and then educate your children. Otherwise, they might fall prey. They might fall a uh, victim to the lies of those who are still pushing the lost cause of the South. Put it on some. Please subscribe to my daddy's YouTube channel because the more subscribers he gets, the more attractive he looks to sponsors. The more attractive he looks to sponsors, the more money he can make. And the more money he can make, the more money he can spend on me.